It appears that, um, ironically, Curtis has become homesick of his life in the brush. Uh, it, it's been fun having him around, because, well, I haven't seen him in years, I and mean, I miss him, but he's my brother, and I love him so. You know, maybe he just, maybe he just belongs in the, uh, in the wilderness. With his, um, with his own kind. Oh. Come on. Curtis. Curtis, listen! I was wrong <coughs> to take you out of your world. For my own selfish reasons. For my dumb YouTube videos. I needed a partner. So I thought, who better than my own brother? <coughs> so I took you out of your, your fantasy. Your topia. And I, 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 I blame myself, so... I have, I have to leave you here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is, this is it. No. Goodbye, Curtis. Goodbye. I close my eyes and I can see the day we met. Just one moment and I knew You're my best friend Do anything for you We've gone so far And done so much And I feel Like we've always been together Right by my side Through thick and thin see him again. But it's odd. He's like a flower. He must grow. But it doesn't matter because late at night I know he's watching over me and all of us. If I listen closely I can hear his voice. This was a triumph. <laughs> Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying